Hey everybody, this is an urgent update for the video that's about to air as we were putting it through production. Uh, we saw this emergency alert regarding that the EU Commission, Russian and American leaders have all been called into urgent meetings. Now you're going to see uh, some of the things that it could be about in the video coming up regarding uh, the Russian submarine fire, regarding Israel, uh, also regarding Iran. So I just want to let everybody know that leaders all around the world they're convening there's an emergency happening total media blackout they're saying no need for concern and again this is a display of what would happen in case of an emergency nobody would know anything the leaders would be protected and isolated and the people will be left without having any idea what is going on Hey everybody, I'm Chad Booksam. This is AMTV, hard hitting and in your face. This is a very important message. Please thumb up this video, help us spread it as far as possible. We greatly appreciate everybody tuning in. So breaking news, Vladimir Putin has called an urgent meeting with his defense minister after 14 Russian sailors died aboard a submarine. Now what's being reported out of Russia is that the submarine caught fire. The sailors died from smoke inhalation. Now this is a very secretive military sub. They do reconnaissance. What are the most secretive ones in their, ars in their arsenal? Uh, they do reconnaissance, they do deep sea diving. Now we don't really know the cause of it yet, but we find it interesting because things are happening in the background right now, which I feel is a byproduct of what would, what, what we should expect if something major is about to happen. So Vladimir Putin, stops what he's doing, calls an urgent meeting. Mike Pence, Vice President Mike Pence, he was on his way to a New Hampshire event, abruptly cancels it at the same exact time. I find this interesting. This could be a coincidence, but I just want to let you guys know. Cancels it. He has to stay in D.C. And then all these national security officials start coming out saying, no need for concern, no need for concern, no need for concern. Like, anytime they say that, usually a red flag for me, that's when you should be concerned, when they tell you not to be concerned. Breaking news coming out of Moscow, where 14 people have died after a fire broke out on a submersible vessel. So they're not given a reason for the Russian fire. This could be an accident. It could be something even worse. We don't know. But we do know that Mike Pence is kind of on lockdown in uh, Washington, D.C. We're not seeing com anything coming out of Trump as far as, uh, you know, his Twitter account or anything like that. But what is going on? So let's keep an eye on a few things. Russian military submarines, Russian military warships, they're always in, you know, like in international waters and things like that. We see Russian warships docked in Cuba. Literally, I mean, if they fired a missile, it would hit us in six seconds. Uh, we see military, Russian military personnel in Venezuela and, and God knows where else. Even in this country, please, uh, I mean, let's not be naive here. We know sleeper cells are everywhere. And at the same time, Iran, I don't know if you've been keeping your eye on this, but Iran has exceeded their uranium enrichment amount that was agreed upon by Obama, okay? We all remember this, they were only allowed to, to enrich a certain amount of uranium. Israel said if they go beyond this, it's a red line. So is a big conflict about to occur? I've always thought this, that, you know, and I've stated this in previous videos, that if anybody's gonna hit Iran, definitely Israel will, because that's their primary rival in the Middle East. They've always said they're not gonna let them go over a certain amount of enrichment, and then we would follow suit as you know they're our number one ally uh, in the world so what is happening there because the Strait of Hormuz is not necessarily as important to us obviously as protecting Israel's interests so say Iran did shut down the Strait of Hormuz you know we're so energy independent now we literally export our own energy we're very energy independent due to policies Donald Trump has implemented which I absolutely give him so much credit for and I'm very proud uh, that he's done this. So really ones who are looking to keep the Strait of Hormuz open is China, is Russia, and things of that nature. So if Israel did strike uh, Iran, or if there was a major conflict, Iran will have no choice but to close the Strait of Hormuz. And I don't think Russia and China would blame Iran. They would blame us for that. And that is their number one uh, supply to energy. And so it was with the European, uh, European Union and these European countries. So something is happening in the back background. And again, the mainstream media's number one job, to do, what, what they'd like to do is just give you distractions. So we don't really know what's going on yet because the number one job, again, is to not tell you. We know that these leaders all around the world, if something did happen, they have their isolated locations. They keep them isolated from any kind of conflict. And the people are just stuck here like, what? Oh, no need for concern. So this is exactly something, if something big was going to happen, this is exactly how it would play out. People would be left not knowing what's going on, still crying and screaming about all the microaggressions that are happening in this country and about how mean Donald Trump is and things of that nature, distracted 
as always, while something major hits. I, we've always known it, it would absolutely play out like this. This is why we're so big on preparation, okay? Because the big government's not going to save you. Not at all. Mainstream media's not going to tell you anything. The only per people who can protect yourselves is yourselves. Protecting your future, strategic location in the United States. If something hits, it's all blackout, and you're not going to know what's going to happen. And we've always been you know, our number one message is preparation. So I'm going to keep following on the story. I find it kind of interesting how things happened uh, in this order. There's emergency meetings taking place. There's probably more than that, not just with Russia, not just here in the United States. So something is happening, but don't worry. No need for concern. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Chad Booksam. This is AMTV, hard hitting and in your face. God bless. Hey, everybody, I'm Chad with AMTV. Have you set up your future to make sure it's protected, to make sure it's secure, knowing that Time is of the essence, knowing that if something happened, again, the big government, the mainstream media, they want to alert you and they won't save you. This criminal cash system isn't there to protect your future if something happens. And one of the few things that we like to talk about, obviously, is food and water, strategic location, and wealth management. And one of the best ways, in our opinion, to protect your wealth is using gold and silver. We created a free guide for this. Click the link below, get the guide today, going over multiple topics on how to protect your future, how to secure your wealth, and make sure your family is set up, make sure your family and yourself is prepared. And again, it's free. Click the link below, get it today, share it with your friends, share it with your neighbors, because again, at the end of the day, no one's going to protect your future except for yourself. Click the link below and get the guide today. My name is Chad. This is AMTV. God bless you and God bless America.